I'll just Joe Hansel with a look at your uh, predicting severe weather threats on this Sunday. Still a lot of heat building away. Never underestimate that heat. Stay cool. Grab some shade. Drink that water if you need to. Uh, 105 in Phoenix, 90s in Tucson, Dallas, and Denver up to 94 for that afternoon high. Looking ahead, bullseye of colder than average air is likely, including Denver. So some uh, relief is eventually on the way, but we do have to wait about a week or two until it gets there. Most of the nation kind of southeast and west of that cold bullseye. Warmer than average conditions are expected mid and late portions of the month of June already. Speaking of some chilly stuff in the Pacific Northwest and some of the high elevations, the Rockies, basically of Idaho, Western Montana, potentially some heavy snow up in the high elevations by the middle of this week, Tuesday, and especially on Wednesday, keeping an eye on that. Some watches, warnings, and advisories posted earlier this Sunday morning. Wind advisories, areas of Dakotas, western Minnesota. A lot of red flag warnings, fire weather issues uh, in the same area, essentially, as some frost advisories waking up to that chill in eastern Nevada, for example. In the southwest, a lot of heat, 90s and 100s expected today. A couple of bullseyes of an elevated to critical wildfire threat. Some dry thunderstorms are possible, meaning storms drop the lightning but not the rain. Hence, with all those reasons, fire weather watches and red flag warnings out in surrounding areas will not take much for a wildfire to get going. No outside burning or campfires if you are camping this Sunday out in the Pacific Northwest. Another cold front comes in this week. We got one stretching in eastern Montana. East of that one, marginal to slight risk of severe weather includes Bismarck Pier as far south as areas of Colorado. Basically large hail damaging winds can't roll out a tornado in the slight risk area for the day today. So in the upper Midwest, be mindful showers and storms could be strong or severe ahead of a cold front essentially today. A break and then the next cold front comes in from the Pacific for Monday, bringing in some soaking rain to spots like Seattle and that'll eventually bring in the cold and mountain snow early this upcoming week.